Welcome back to the DGen Diaries. Day three, New York to Vegas with $100, and we're sitting pretty at $555. I got a long drive to New Orleans, but I'm looking forward to seeing the city and hopefully running it up. People keep asking what I do during these long drives during the day to uh, make them go by a little faster and make them more tolerable. Well, here's one thing I do. We've got <laughs> Ready? Begin. Begin. Artificial amateurs aren't at all amazing. Analytically, I assault and make things. Broken barriers bounded by the bombing. Buildings are broken, basically, I'm bombarding. Casually, create catastrophes, casualties, canceling cash, got the canopies collapsing. Detonate a dime a dang daily doing dough. Demonstrations done, daughter on the down low. Eating other editors with each and every energetic, epileptic episode. Elevated etiquette. Glorious, fat, fabulous, fantastic. Flurries of funk, belt, beating the fanatic. If God breaks, global goods gone glorious. Didn't God be in his game with the glorious? Hit him high, hella high, hysterical. Hey, Holocaust hints here. Holler at your homeboy. Imitators idolize, I intimidate. In an instant, I rise in a high rate state. Juiced all my jams like Jericho. Jack and Joyce, just me, it's just me, right? my journal. Kindly, I'm kindling all kinds of ink on. Karate kick tight breaks in my kingdom. Let me live a long life. Lyrically, lessons is learned. Lame lives just lose to my livery. Fine mind makes marvelous moves massive. Marvel and move many mock what I mastered. That knowing I'm nice naturally. That never lack make noise nationally. Operation opposition off not optional. Out of sight, out of mind, wide beam and optical. Perfect poem. Powerful punchline pummeling. Petty power puffs in my prime. Quite quaint quotes keep quiet. It's quantum. Corollars ain't got a quarter. We got them. Really raw raps, rising up rapidly, riding the Russian radioactivity. Super scientific, sound surf thought, sound things, super fire staff that are soft. Tales 10, talented, too, too tough. Take that, challengers, get it tuned up. Universal, unique, untouched, unadulterated, the raw, uncut. Verb, vice, lord, victorious, valid, violate vibes that are vain, make them vanish. While I'm all well with the wise words, ministers, weaving up words, read it up in my workshop, weaving from the like a large X five letter, it's all bone tones. Yellow back, yak mouth, young one yawns. Yesterday's yawn yard cell are on. Zigzag zone. Be zoomed to the zenith, zero and zen thoughts, overzealous, rhyme, see lots! Whoa! <laughs> Good. Can you say it faster? Okay, nine and a half hours later of driving, I am totally wiped. I just arrived to New Orleans. I'm at a close family friend's apartment here, and it's this place is sick. Let me flip around the camera. Look at this apartment, it's so dope. Hey, uh, my friend doesn't believe me that every double tree has ch fresh chocolate chip cookies under the desk. Could you help me prove him wrong by chance? Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Have a go. Day four, New Orleans. We are starting with $454. About to hop in a one two game at Harrah's here and looking forward to it. New Orleans is a beautiful city. I've never been here. Oh my God, it's amazing. It's a pretty gross day out right now. It's raining and such but food's amazing architecture super cool everything i just really like the aesthetic to it i'm gonna play for about three hours maybe and then i'm heading to houston so i'd like to have as much money as possible when i get to texas because that's where the real fun begins before i hit the casino i wanted to check out the world war ii museum uh, i'm not just here to play poker i want to be able to explore all the cities to the best of my ability hi um do you guys have uh, like a Jewish discount if I'm Jewish? Do you get any sort of discount? Uh, yeah, no, I'm not in the armed service. I, I felt like that would be appropriate here, but I, I understand. Yeah, I don't have any way to prove it either besides like my hair. But, but all right, well, you take my word for it. Oh, well, thank, th <laughs> thank you very much. Did I just go? To the museum just for a five second bit with the security guard yes was it worth it absolutely <laughs> Uh, here we are. I'm on the list for 1-3. There's only one game going right now and I'm next in line so I hope it's not too long of a wait Really cool poker room. They don't know what's coming from. All right, just a quick session that's 
pretty calm before the storm of what Texas is going to bring. I'm gonna spend a few days there and pray that the variance gods are on my side, but for now let's try to run it up as much as we can so we can have some flexibility there. I'm in for $220 with two stacks of red chips and one stack of white chips to prop my phone behind. In this first hand we have a straddle to $6 from the cutoff, so action starts on the button. Folds to me under the gun and now with king 3 suited, I'm normally folding this here, but with three players already out of the hand, it's borderline. Normally I'll err on the tight side on the borderline hands, but the player to my left is doing that thing where they kind of fold before I make a play. So I start to grab some chips, see that they fold, and then confidently make the open to $20. Let me know if you think this is angling or if this is just poker. I'm hoping to take down the $10 without seeing a flop, but the straddler calls. He's going to pretty much have any two here, and on the flop of 4-4-5, we have some strong back doors, and we want to deny equity from any overcards, so we bet $15. Turns the queen of clubs and we improve to a flush draw. He's still going to have a lot of junk here and gut shots, so we size up to $40 and try to take it down. He gives a speech and makes a call, and an eight of hearts comes on the river. Probably looks like a blank, but the most common hand that I was actually beating here is 6-7, and that just made a straight. Here's a quick lesson for you. If your opponent is huffing and puffing about making a call, it makes them pretty polarized. Either they're chasing with garbage, or they have a monster and have been watching a little too much poker on TV. If you're against someone with a polarized range, bluffing makes no sense because either they have it and you're lighting money on fire, or they have air and you can potentially bluff catch. You're allowed to stop barreling on your bluffs and I think here's a good spot to check and give up. He quickly bets $100 and I have no problem letting it go. He shows 4-5 offsuit for the flop full house, so I'm pretty happy I didn't make a flush on the river, because that would have cost me. I add on for 200 more dollars because this game's pretty soft, and sometimes you gotta risk it for the biscuit. Here we have 7-8 offsuit in the small blind, and there's two limpers to me, and I make a disciplined fold. That's what I would have said if I made a disciplined fold, but I limp as well because I have a post-flop edge and definitely not a gambling problem. The best way to play 7-8 offsuit is to flop two pairs, so that's what we do. The cutoff throws out about a $15, and we make the call. Heads up to a 5 of spades on the turn, he throws out about a $25, and I raise to 100 trying to make it look like I have some sort of flush or a straight draw. He actually thinks better of it and shows a queen and lets it go. A little unfortunate, maybe I just went a little too big, but that's okay. Alright, before we sweat the second card, if you're enjoying the series so far, please hit the like and sub button. I hate asking, but YouTube really doesn't help out the small channels, so do your part. Tell your mailman, your Uncle Larry with a gambling problem, and your friend Michael who lost it all in his six-leg parlay that Betty's going to Vegas and you should come join the ride. As always, I'll be picking a random comment at the end of the video, so leave one below for a chance to win. I read every single comment and I'm always open to feedback. Alright, now let's see the second card. Thanks for the good luck. We pick up my sixth favorite hand in all of poker. Hit me one time. Hit me two times. Hit me three times. Let go. Get it for me. 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 There's an early position raise to $15, and we bump it up to $45. Folds back to him, and he makes the quick call, and we go heads up to a flop of Jack Jack Queen. He checks to me and I check it back for pot control, I would hate to get raised here, so I'm happy to just see a turn for free. Turns a pretty gross queen of spades, and I would only probably get value from ace high, which I heavily block, so I check it looking to pick off bluffs on the river. River's a blank and he bets $50, which we snap off with the quickness, and we are good against king 10 for the busted straight draw. One of the last hands we play, I pick up ace king of clubs in the cutoff, and it folds to me and I open it up to $15. The big blind stares me down a bit, and then three bets to $56. I ask him one question. How much you got? But all I'm really thinking about is Vegas and the fucking Mirage. All in. I make the 4-bet shove, and here's a graph I made about the emotions of shoving ace-king suited. Within the first couple seconds, you do not want to get called. If you get called instantly, it's usually pretty bad news for you. But after that, after they start to tank, you're begging for a call. You're hoping, maybe they have ace-queen, maybe they don't believe me, come on, pay me off. 
But then, after about two minutes of tanking, this guy says, I think I'm flipping with Ace King. And at that moment, I really don't want him to flip if he's got a hand like tens or jacks. And I'm hoping for a fold, but if he does call it, it's not the end of the world. When you shove for 90 big blinds with Ace King, it's kind of a bluff. You're blocking aces and kings, kind of saying that you have aces or kings. And I never really know how to act in these situations. And I just stare dead into the middle of the table. And I think that looks pretty strong because he finally lets it go. I think he folded jacks, if I were to guess. And we take down a good bit of dead money. In for 420 and out for 572. Got a decent win here. Still no really big wins, but we're four for four, so we cannot complain. Yo, really? Yo, thank you so much. There's no one here. You, there's no one there. You can't believe everything you hear on the internet. Under the gun opens to $15, and I have Queen Jack of Diamonds on the button, and I just call, and the big blind does as well. And we go three ways to a flop of King Nine Deuce with two clubs. So all I have is a gut shot to a 10, and there's about 45 in the pot. And he bets, he bets $15, and probably should be folding there, but I'm, it's such a small bet. I have really good odds, and if I hit my card, I'm getting stacks because he could definitely have some ace king here, or some really strong hands. And so I do call the 15 and the big blind. What's up guys? And the uh, big blind squeezes to $50. And then back to under, gun, under the gun and he jams for like 200. Obviously I have to fold. Turn, I fold and turn comes the fucking 10. Excuse my, excuse my language. But uh, obviously I'm never calling there. But if the big blind didn't make that raise, then I'm, I might get a triple up. So that stings. I'm human. I I really wanted that one. That would have been huge. Going to grab some food and then five hour drive to Houston. So I'll see you there. That brings us to a grand total of 590 for the day. Bonus. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really excited for the upcoming videos and I'm about to pick a comment. Only 61 comments. Make sure you're leaving one right now. It's like a $2 estimated value. Uh, granted, everyone has an equal chance of winning the free roll just from leaving a comment. So without further ado, let's get into it. What do we got? What do we got? Oak the bloke, man, such a great idea. Can't stress it enough. Seriously, looking forward to the next next episode. My biggest win was 2.5 at Lex Live. I don't even know where that is. When I came 14th in the main event, which you satellite. Oh, that's awesome. Winning a satellite, then cashing in the main thing is like that's the dream. Same same thing that I'm trying to do. So congrats to you, Oak the bloke. Hop in the Discord, shoot me a message, and I will keep track of it. All right, thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day. This old man has the tiniest dog I've ever seen. I need to get a video of this. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh my god! He's so tiny!